Hey, 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 it's Ashley here, and today I'm gonna be sharing my stairs makeover, finally. Super excited to share this with you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here are some before pictures of the stairs before we actually removed the carpeting on the stairs, and this whole makeover was long overdue because our stairs were literally looking just like this for about a year. <laughs> that we were in the house and I was like oh my god I really need to do my stairs I really didn't know what I wanted to do with them so I just decided to paint them and add a runner and change the coloring of the balusters and the banister so without further ado let me go ahead and share this process with you guys so to start this makeover off I just started to remove any of the staples so I used a um, hammer pliers and also this stapler remover and my good old vacuum to get up any of the staples that were still on the stairs um, it took a lot of muscles sometimes because <laughs> some of them were wedged in there pretty good and also any of the nails that were popped up I just used my hammer and I hammered those down so they were nice and flat so in this bottom little um, tread here I had like this glue I don't know if it was glue or tape but anyways I just used my heat gun heated it up and I just simply removed that off so the next step to this was filling in all of those staple holes that I removed there was a lot of these so I just used my dap and I went ahead and I started to fill in all the holes um, I did one layer of it first let everything dry and then I came back and I just did another layer and then after that I started to prep just a little bit for like the painting portion that was gonna come eventually so I just started to use some of my painters tape and I started to paint off the sides of the stairs that it was time to sand everything down so I am just using my surf prep it has the hose attachment so there wasn't a lot of dust and debris flying around in the house and I just took my time and I sanded everything down nice and smooth after I was done sanding I just took some soap and water and I just started to wipe down the stairs to start getting them prepped for painting the next thing I did was I took my Ben primer, you guys know this is my favorite thing to use, and I just went over all of the wood knots and also the darker colored stained wood on the left hand side of my stairs. And I just did one coat of this for the left part of the stairs, but the wood knots, I did do um, two coats over those. So once I did all of the stairs, I let that dry, and then I came back in with a 400 grit and I started to sand those areas down nice and smooth. Okay, so after that was done the next step is to start painting this so I did a color match on our flooring and there's different variations of colors in the flooring but this is the one that came out and it matched perfectly it was really good I did have another color that I was going up against but I like this one better so as you can see I am painting the stairs I did the first seven stairs and then I did the rest I let it dry and then I came back and then I just did a, another coat of this on the stairs so while doing this process, I used my roll brush and then I also used my zebra brush as well and also a little tiny brush to get into some of the difficult areas. So like I said, I did do two coats. So after this, this was the first coat, I went back and I saw that I had some holes that I didn't fill. So I went in, filled those holes, came back, wiped it down, and then I did that second coat on the stairs. The next thing I started to do was I started to tape around the balusters so I can get them ready for painting. So before I did all of this, I cleaned each of them off and then I came back with this clear um, primer 
from Country Chic and it just is it's clear and it just makes sure that um, the paint is going to adhere to the balusters. So I just simply did like one coat of that on each one of those and then I came in with this black. It's onyx. That's the color of it. I love this color because it's not too black. And so I started to paint each baluster and as you can see I went between a brush and a roller to do this. All right, so this is what the first coat looked like. It looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> so after this dried, I went in again and did that second coat and voila, this looks so good. All right, so the next step is the fun part and it was adding my runner. So I got this runner from um, Amazon and it's two runners. They were both 12 feet and it, they, it just matched perfectly with the colors that I already had on the stairs and I was like, oh my gosh, yes. So I am using some carpet tape for this first one and I'm just going to add it up, scoot it all the way up to the top and then I used my staple gun to staple this. So when you're adding a runner on here, there's so many different ways that you can add your runner um, you know, with measurements and all that stuff. So first you can either measure your stairs then measure your runner and do it from there or you can mark the center of your stairs, mark the center of the runner and do it like that. I didn't do, I didn't neither of those. I just made sure the measurements on one side was the same all the way down. The measurements on another side was the same all the way down and it was in the center and it looked perfect. So the main materials you're gonna need for this though is a carpet tucker, um, a staple gun, especially one like the one I have. I'll have a link below. It's just really easy to use. Um, you can use the handheld one, but that'll take a lot of work to be honest. And you can just get one of these. You can rent one and they're really good to use. So as you can see, I was measuring, making sure the measurements were right on the right and the left side. Now I'm just taking the carpet tucker and I'm making sure it's nice and creased in those creases and then stapling it. So I also use rug pads. So I cut the rug pads down to the size that they needed to be, put them, put them underneath and then again, started to just pull the carpet taut and go over the tread and use the carpet tucker, tuck it in really tight and then staple. And I did this all the way down the stairs. Takes a lot of muscle, takes a lot of work, um, but it is so worth it in the end. And I was just like, oh, this is gonna look so good when I'm finished. So yes, um, this rug pad too, I got it on Amazon and I had to use two of them as well. And I'll have all of this stuff linked if you like the carpet um, runner that I chose and then also this uh, rug pad that I'm using as well. So to attach the second runner, all I did was I pushed it up against the first runner. So as you can see, I stapled it up. I could have cut the excess parts off, but I didn't. I just kept those. And then I just took the second runner, lined it up with the other one, and made sure that you couldn't see the second runner. It worked out perfectly. Like I said, you could cut it and then just put the other one up there against it. But I just didn't feel like doing all that. So it looks good the way that I did it. But depending on your rug, you might have to do it a different way. All right, so when I got down to the last stair, I needed to remove the trim piece that was down there. So I'm just um, cutting it and then I'm gonna use the pro bar to take that off. And once I took that off, I also removed the nails that were, um, you know, that the trim was <laughs> nailed to. And then now I'm just going to cut my carpet to the size that I need it to be for it to fit flush down the stair so you can do this or you can like fold it up depending on how thick your carpet is if it's really thin you should be able to just flip it up and then staple it uh, so anyways i'm just taking some carpet tape and tape that on there and then i'm going to push that down and then i kind of folded it at the bottom and then i um stapled it to the bottom part of the stairs and I knew like the piece on the side you weren't gonna be able to see it when I put the trim back on there so now I am just doing a little bit of touch-up work so I'm just painting this area over here that needed to be painted all right so now I'm gonna add trim back so I got this flexible trim on Amazon it's really easy to use it's actually like bathtub trim but it worked perfectly for this and I just wrapped it around and I stapled everything into place I would not 
try to cut anything on the miter saw with this because it will flap in your face. So I just used my scissors and a utility knife and I cut any pieces that I needed um, to be cut. So I started to nail all of this down. So on the opposite side, I reused the trim that was already on there and I just nailed that in. I then took my dap and I just started to um, cover up any of the holes and the gaps in between. I then taped the tops and I taped my floors to get ready to paint this so that the uh, trim will match the rest of the trim in the house. After I let everything dry, of course, I just removed the tape and these stairs are donezo. And these are how our stairs look now. Oh my gosh, it just looks like completion. Every time we would come in the house and I would just see these bare stairs that had not, they were like nothing was done to them. I just felt so sad. So now every time I walk in the house and we come around the corner and I see these stairs, I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, it looks so good. So I love the color choices that I chose, the runner, everything goes together so well. Um, very tedious project to do, but it was so worth it. The next thing I'm gonna do is the right side of the wall, so you guys stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, as always, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!